the classes are apparently suing other classes for negligence on the payload. <laughs> Prosecution pleads guilty. <laughs> as a Zenyatta main, they are guilty as all hell. <laughs> Justice for Harambe. <laughs> yeah. Turn out meme. It's a meme. Guilty. Of the people who shot Harambe. <laughs> As per a point that the defense has stated numerous times and really should have done during one of our last public hearings because Superman is a legitimate murderer at this point. Having <laughs> killed both within comic books and anime. Thank you, Death Battle. <laughs> yep. The defense will will actually support this because we will not defend killers. Let's hear it for memes. I thought her <laughs> Two to one. <laughs> we'll turn about this one. <laughs> Should the Star Wars expanded universe have been killed by Disney? Uh, yes. I would like to defend the expanded universe. Elaborate on the expanded universe. What is now classified as Star Wars Legends. <laughs> Do you know anything? I know. <laughs> Essentially the books that follow movies. The books that follow movies. It's no, who no, There's a so the animated series. Unfortunately, uh, animated series would count as the, uh, the expanded universe, the new game. Absolutely. Uh, the defending that they should have it? Uh, it's, a, it's a debate on whether or not that Disney should have killed the original. And you're defending that they shouldn't have or should have? Should not have killed them. I guess that they're on the other side. Now, while there is, going back to our previous uh, our previous debate about the merits of sequels, a lot of hot garbage in the expanded universe past a certain point. There have been some fantastic stories and characters which have actually begun to be integrated into the movie canon. There are some legendary characters that will unfortunately be relegated into the sidelines of history, only in the being held true by the original fans who experienced them when they first came out. Basically being told their favorite characters are now the fan fiction. I think that is wrong. No, 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 no. I'm feeling very uncomfortable about talking about sequels like this. Sounds hypocritical to me. It sounds like you just... What's wrong with me talking about sequels? Odoroki makes a good point. So, would you prefer to motion to throw this case out? Yes. By order of both sides, this case will be dismissed. <laughs> Boxers or briefs? <laughs> I guess our side has chosen. <laughs> the defense would like to postulate if boxer briefs would count as briefs. Uh, they are a hybrid. <laughs> they are. They are impure. <laughs> we don't talk about them. Would you be able to fit into those pants with boxers? I already am. <laughs> as am I. <laughs> The defense would also like to point out that boxer briefs are very comfortable. Boxers are also very comfortable. They're like boxer briefs, but without the uncomfortable part. That's why there's no briefs. <laughs> like many pajamas, come on. They're like shorts that you shouldn't wear in public. They're amazing. <laughs> yeah! The defense does not feel comfortable having the defense's junk kind of just like hang. <laughs> it's, 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 it's not a good look. And what if you're wearing shorts? Exactly. If you're wearing shorts, you cannot wear boxers. Boxers aren't that, like, 
It can, it, depending, depending on They're the cut. They're not that generous. <laughs> Like as as the uh, the good detective what pointed out. What kind of garbage like boxes are you buying? <laughs> you buying garbage. The defense prefers to keep it snug as a bug in a rug. Oh my god! I believe that this is a preference, and I feel to prove that it's subjective. Second, Your Honor. I will go ahead and move in favor of boxers, except for the case of briefs with men. They have to be worn when they wear skinny jeans because I don't want to see any junk on the outside. <laughs> that means you. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, don't, I don't want to think about that. Makes me really we're we're having Papa a very exposing topic. Papa John. Papa John's. Yeah. Papa John's. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> do you see Domino's right there? <laughs> do you see Papa John's? <laughs> Excuse me, I'd like to call a witness to the stand. Uh, Yukiko in the audience, if she's still there, call her to the stand, please. If you would stand right here. Now, what is, I believe we've talked once before, right here, right here, thank you. <laughs> what is your name for Papa John's? I believe you call it a very specific name. <laughs> I call it Papa Daddy. <laughs> Does this have a positive connotation? Let's elaborate. Uh, I'm not going to talk about my fetish, please. Thank you. No further questions on the regard of that. Regarding Papa John's, do they not have the most al dente pizza? Al dente. Domino is flimsy. Okay. Objection. Al dente is French. There's an ironic meme. Just talk also, about the it's a Italian, I'm sorry, I'm not the one that can speak multiple languages. Well then let's talk to someone who can. Koichi no, to the stand. I, I never finished ah. my objection. My point being that al dente means to the tooth. And it's referred to when you're making pasta that you, if you're going to make it in an oven, then you should cook it a little bit underdone. So what you're saying is that Papa John's pizza is slightly underdone. Whoa. Oh. Let's talk to a real, genuine Italian. Let's not talk to Koichi, but the I, man behind I Koichi. Italian. What's your name, sir? My oh, boy, very confusing. I've been told I'm Koichi, but I'm also an Italian. <laughs> now, could you prove to us you're in Italian? Could you say something? There we go. Now, what's better, in your opinion, in your humble opinion, from the land where pizza was made? Domino's or Papa Daddy? Objection. Papa John's and Domino's were both created. Papa Daddy, you <laughs> The, the defense would uh, like to request that we do not uphold Papa Daddy as an actual term when referring to the prosecution. It's a legal thing. I'll call up the manager right now. I'll fight you. Okay. It is a to me, an orphan child. As a man that is called Big Daddy Nasty, the genuine judge, I will allow Papa Daddy to be called Papa Daddy. <laughs> Like your dominoes have fell. Check <laughs> <laughs> shit. Allow the defense to. Yes, you're back. Thank you. Allow the defense to present the following. While we are in agreement that Papa John's pizza, or I'm sorry, Papa Daddy. Thank, thank you. you, Your Honor. <laughs> you're while we are in agreement that Papa Daddy's pizza <laughs> is in fact very delicious, we would like to call to the court's attention. The other secret weapon that Domino's has at its disposal. I would like to present the Domino's bread ball. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you want to talk al dente? Let's talk al dente. So you're saying it's underdone? <laughs> Okay, just trust me on this. If I'm wrong, you can punch me in the back later. Oh, so I get to punch the other side of your body now. Woo! Sure. <laughs> the defense would like to attest that in a time where Domino's Pizza was considered to be the inferior, 
the thing that has kept them afloat, the thing that has defined them as the go-to for your one-stop meal needs has been the bread bowl, combining the best of a pasta meal with the finest part of a Domino's pizza, which has since been upgraded because of the new recipe, the crust. You can have that thing and be full for an entire day. While it's fantastic to have a Papa Daddy's pizza, <laughs> that will only get you through maybe part of a day, unless you want to split it with friends. But if you are the lone college student, sitting in your dorm thinking, how am I going to survive until morning? Because I have spent all my other money on more questionable items. <laughs> you will be able to feed yourself and still have the same amazing experience, if not better. Good <laughs> question. Our office Quick question. I, know I also I have a lot of coupons. <laughs> a lot of coupons. I would like to revert back to my main point. Do you see a Domino's? <laughs> Papa John's pizza being sold here currently are overpriced and too small. Such is con fair. But people are still buying because they love the taste. There are other no, places they could they buy. They are buying because they are desperate. Yes. They simply buy because the product the, is there. The defense can actually support this. The defense was really hungry after trial yesterday. Oh, the, the defense, <laughs> yo, the defense, because the defense could not use their coupons. And I'm so sorry, we're probably going to have to cut the internet for like a day or two. The defense had to buy Papa Daddy's pizza out of desperation. It was not because it was delicious, it was because it was literally there. Because let me tell you about a thing called franchising. If you'll notice, the Papa Daddy's over here does, in fact, share a spot with the Nathan's. These are both these are both franchise chains across the United States. But if you didn't like it, then why'd you go back for seconds? Oh, looks like looks like our, our previous defendant has uh, has a few words. See, I don't know how to eat healthy, and choosing between Domino's and Papa Daddy, Papa Daddy's obviously the better one. Like it's obvious. Why did you come to the defense? Because you have to defend Papa Daddy. <laughs> sure you get the worst part of our shared data plan. <laughs> you are no worse than me. I'm cutting your pay to prove a point. <laughs> I, I helped you! I helped you! We will not be lowering his head. You won't, I will. <laughs> Did we discuss this in court yesterday? Yeah. yeah I believe Do they still have some Papa Daddy? <laughs> yes, I said, I said I'd buy him lunch once. This is yeah. Yeah. The what? final, the final piece of evidence that the defense would like to present in favor of the Domino's, besides the uh, unfinished statement about franchising, which to just conclude that point, that could have just as easily been a Domino's pizza shared with a church's chicken or a Hardee's, okay. since we are on the East Coast. Okay. However, it just so happens that that happens to be the franchise that got there first. It is not a, it is a purely subjective matter of who was able to get the spot first, not a matter that's of That's not subjective, that's fact. They got there first. <laughs> and that's what now, we call capitalism. Now, the final piece of evidence we would like to produce, since we have already produced a non-pizza item, I would like to produce one more non-pizza item that I think will blow this case wide open. Do tell. Do it. Domino's oven baked sandwiches, which you can get oh. as part of a combo deal, along with a bread bowl and a drink for five dollars a piece. The defense rests its case. Uh, may, may I? The prosecution would like to state that it feels it's provided an overwhelming amount of evidence, while the defense has said two food items. Did you give any food items? I've been trying oh. to talk this whole time. Everyone knows what Papa Daddy sells. Oh my god! <laughs> the defense would like to point out that certain individuals... The breadsticks! Can we please... ...would never eat Domino's pizza, would still consume their additional menu items. Can we please be open the case and not call them Papa Daddy? When you think of a food that you will shove in...